Hey, hi everybody. So, welcome to my new podcast. It's all to do with you and me and the world that we are surrounded in. It's all to do with the individual person and also a collective group of people. It's not to do with what we think. It's about maybe what we think. But also what we tend to believe is right. That may actually be a misjudgment of what society has created something called an illusion there's a lot of situations that go unquestioned a lot of things that people don't often question they often trust other people and I'm not saying trust me but I'm just you know explaining certain things that we trust certain things that are not of common sense. So the trust in things that aren't common sense and also being led into stupid acts of so-called normality which isn't really normal just because one person may agree with something a situation it doesn't mean that you should agree with it also and not question why this person believes in such a thing you see if we were to question certain things a lot of people a lot of situations in life will be halted like if you were to question a teacher or if you were to homeschool your kid at home your child at home and when you send your child to school I'm I'm talking about you know your child is at full-time school but whilst they're at home you teach them extracurriculum activities you send them to school And your child now understands a lot more than the other kids in the classroom. Your child now, or naturally, your child may question the authority of the teacher or question the teacher. That same child could question, you know, the adults that are around them whilst they're at home. And just because the adult is of certain age, it's because the adult is an adult per se you know the child the adult may feel stupid or they may feel inadequate around the child and you know feel insufficient around them now why I chose a child because children are so curious about life they're excited they're curious they some of them are hyperactive and you know that's a normal thing really um so if we be like a child whilst we navigate through this world that we live in a lot of tables will get turned upside down a lot of things wouldn't be so easily or easy to just walk into things like contracts loans Jobs, housing, um, voting for different governmental powers, things like relationships and friendships and where you spend your money. If we could question each activity that we do, I'm not saying we don't all do this. I'm guilty myself for this. But 
I'm navigating through it and and learning from other people and myself and what I'm trying to give to this podcast you know things that I learn through my everyday situations I think it's important to use this platform to talk about it you know I'm not here to question people's choices, their beliefs, their upbringing. But I'd like to unpick certain things that may hinder a person's growth or it may be the turning point of a new journey for some people. Whoever's listening to this podcast may receive support, may receive some kind of realisation, I guess. I'm not a therapist, but I'm very, I'm very much interested in the mind and very much interested in psychology and art mixed together I'm interested in the senses of our bodies our minds the physical self and the spiritual self I'm interested in certain things I do a lot of reading and I watch a lot of videos and stuff and I talk about this, I've been on this little journey, or big journey I guess, I've been on this journey for the past, since I was 11 years old, I've asked a lot of questions, and a lot of questions went unanswered, because as a curious child, you never received the answer, and I don't, I don't quite know if an answer is ever found there's a lot of things in life where the the answer will never be found no matter how much questions you ask no matter how much research you do no matter who you talk to it's quite what should I call it inevitable it's very inevitable but that's okay because whilst you're trying to find an answer you find little bits and pieces of the puzzle along the way you may not find a definite answer but you'll find bits and pieces that will support the answer you're looking for some things may end up being true some things may not end up may end up being you know a fact or fiction but when we decide to live in the present moment and see everything for what it actually is we're able to seek the truth that is presented to you right at this moment in time <laughs> Especially if that's to do with finding the answers to a situation that you're facing in the present world. When I say present world, I mean, you know, the physical world. Sometimes we, sometimes a person can go too far into the past or way too far into the future and they forget that having a past creates a present and looking into the future you have to be present for that future to have to to happen and sometimes we can put a lot of 
words in our minds, in our hearts, overthink things, a lot of paranoia, a lot of stagnation, a lot of stagnation. A lot of stagnation. In our present moment. Because the past is gone. And the future is yet to be created. The present moment is sometimes wasted. Time is not a promise. Time does not promise anybody. Time is created when it's appreciated. Now I sound like I'm doing poetry. But that's fine because I'm an artist and playing with words and sound is something... I find interesting. I love that. I I love that a lot. So when you think about time, what does time say to you? Just that word time. What does it mean to you? What does it remind you of? How does it feel? When you say the word time. If you would like. Could you write the word time. On a piece of paper for me please. Write time. T-I-M-E. Time. We have a lot of, I'm out of time, I'm running out of time, I'm not on time, time doesn't wait, not enough time, too much time. What is a time? Time is something that controls every part of the day do you know how much time time you look at the clock just to read what time it is at that present moment whilst you're in the present moment you're looking at the time could you be aware of all the things your surroundings the sounds the smells the colours, the feelings, that's there, in the present moment, right now. I could describe what I'm doing. I'm lying on a pillow that's soft and comfy, with a quilt right near, underneath my chin, covering my body. And it's nice, and it's comfy. I'm lying on my bed... That's hugging me and cuddling me and making me feel all nice. That's what I'm doing at this present moment. And I'm talking to you. Sometimes. Time. is so precious. It's so worrying. When other things are placed in front of the time we have. Thank you for listening to this podcast. We shall talk soon. Bye guys.